Kim Key, PW for Zombie Says Elite UK, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, glitches as well as lag switching, and um, when I think glitching is okay and when I think it isn't, as well as I'm um, talking a little bit about the rise as the map has come out today. I'm um, just some video information I've been sort of reading and sort of watching, so um, yeah, I'll bring that later in the video. But for now, I hope you enjoy the my discussion about glitching. I'm going to be um, starting with um, talking about glitches. As you most likely know, glitches are areas in the game that can be used to, for example, the knife lung glitch, which lets you jump onto buildings and walls as well as barriers um, so zombies can't get you, or even on multiplayer, to PT in hidey spaces so people can't see you either. Um, I have myself used glitches in the past on Call of the Dead as well as Transit. Um, in Call of the Dead, as with other maps, there were a few knife lung glitches and well, other glitches which I didn't actually get to use because the time I actually bought the game, most of had actually already been patched. Um, in the early days of the game, um, obviously now, you know, Triangle have stopped patching black all the old Black Ops maps, so there's still quite a few um, decent glitches that are still be able to be used. Um, one being um, the knife and glitch on the back of the box, which I've used quite a lot. Um, I haven't been on the old maps in a while, but I think seeing as most people have already moved over to Black Ops 2, um, also there's still people on Black Ops, but not as many. Um, I don't see an issue with glitching as Triarch have stopped patching the stuff anyway so they obviously they're not bothered people aren't really bothered about it as much now anyway because they're all worried about um, Black Ops 2 obviously um, although when it comes to multiplayer I think glitching gives an unfair advantage full stop I know that might sound a little bit strange seeing as glitching regardless where it is on zombies or not gives people an edge on gives people an edge anyway but you're not really competing against other people as it is co-op, a co-op game well I suppose the leader wars but like I said it is an older game so it doesn't really much much difference but online you are and it winds me up when people can't even enjoy a game somebody that's just sitting on top of a map sniping people which is just really winds me up um, I mean if you snipe fair enough but when you when you actually watch back and they're literally half up a, up a mountain up a building it's you can obviously tell they've been glitching um, with Black Ops 2 there have been a, there have been a few glitches that have been found um, a few I liked as they were useful but not really round skips in that but um, to be fair it made transit you know without it when transit was a lot harder and a lot hell of a lot more time consuming um, you know like for example the permanent turbine where you could keep the pack much room open you know the entire game which was obviously you know so useful you could just chuck it down leave it there you know you can always just get pack a bunch whenever you liked and when it comes to glitches like the round skips and pile up spots when you're on public play annoys me as the ones that play legitly and work hard um, at getting to the high rounds get taken over because you know if you're in a pile up spot or a round skip then you're obviously going to get to really high rounds because you haven't done anything that much um, I'm not going to lie I have used that sort of glitch before but only in custom games like I said before so it doesn't actually affect the levels only your rank so alright fair enough my rank might get a little bit higher but who gives a who really cares about rank not really it's all about the leaderboards to be fair so you know I mean if they could turn the rank off when doing custom then I would say that's probably better but anyway um, this is that um, I just really enjoy zombies and I don't really have much time for trying to beat people on the leaderboards as to be fair one most of the higher people not all obviously but some I can tell you know they have used some sort of glitch back when the game first came out and then okay maybe I might be a little bit wrong due to no glitches have been found back then but generally speaking most of them have sort of I would guarantee have used a sort of glitch to get that high um, to um, every time I found around that they normally are just standing out I don't really play as a team um, sorry let me do that guys every time I found around online normally the people who have just who are playing I get into the round with either are just noobs and I have no idea what they're doing they just mess around don't want to work as a team they just end up going down with early on in the round and either leave or for example I'm called these just shoot jaws for the fun of it um, there's just stuff like that I mean I do play grief mode but even then that's all the same um, still a problem with the people who are um, just messing around um, the same goes for online I don't really play it due to this because of the legs the switch so not the legs sorry the glitches and that but I have looked past this a little bit and I have been playing a few rounds um, 
on Black Ops 2, but I never didn't really play Black Ops 1. Um, obviously, it was a double XP weekend as well, so I kind of, um, I suppose, looked, as I said, looked past that and kind of got over it and tried to play, you know, as most normally. And my um, friend from America plays it quite a lot, so um, I suppose that's any reason why I sort of play it. Um, but obviously, like I said, glitching just completely annoys me online. No, there's no thing of, I'll oh, use it here. No, just glitch online. No. I think they should not be used at all. Which now brings me to the next topic lag switches. Complete and utter. I can't really say what I want to say about them, but they're just complete idiots. If you don't know what lag switching is, um, then you can see from what's actually happening in this video clip um, what, what actually it means. Basically, um, it's a switch normally connected into a network cable that interrupts the signal from your console to the server. Um, just enough so it freezes the other players, so you can obviously just shoot. They literally stand still. You can just shoot them, and then grab the tags, whatever match you're sort of playing. You can also basically stop getting places avoid being shot because also when you you threes you vanish. Generally speaking, when you're um, um, when you're sort of leg switching to the other players, um, obviously it does it so slightly it doesn't actually disconnect you from the game because um, it literally only I think only interrupts a certain signal which sends the sort of must be the player data I imagine um, normally it's quick it's quick use attached to your controller so you can flick the switch as you're playing for easy use um, you can tell when someone is using a leg switch as I said before generally they will vanish from your screen and then generally you will just end up to getting killed to be fair in my opinion people who lag switch obviously just obviously can't play the game they have to resort to this for you know even as you saw earlier using a heat seeking missile to kill someone while doing this which to be fair is a heat seeking missile it will hit you can't exactly miss so it's a little bit you know a bit pathetic to be honest although this mouse on like a good idea lag switching to be fair it's it's just a complete waste of time it just ruins the game for everyone and yourself as the idea of the game is to be a challenge and to practice to get better so you can obviously improve on yourself but if you're just freezing people then you might as well not even more stop playing so at least other people who are who do want to play properly can enjoy the game and you know not have put of you people just sitting there wasting time I mean sorry wasting other people other people's time in who you actually want to play the game properly um, I guess my overall opinion of glitching is that it can be fun um, and it's a thing to do and lag switching is just wrong and I was always I always hate people that do it. Um I know people will continue to use glitches and to be fair I will most likely be using them as well. You know, just obviously not online, you know, just in custom games and that. Um you know, I'm especially not multiplayer either. Um oh just for a quick thing, O Z X um for the win. He um does zombie glitches and his zombie glitches are really, really good. Um, I mean, I use them quite a lot. Like I said, just purely in custom game with Microsoft and Malik and um, Vicky and Merlin and Madic Emma. So check out his channel. His links in the description, as well as links to the other videos that you've also seen in this clip. Um, apart from obviously the first one, which was actually one I did, um, which wasn't for a video, just to show a mate I could get up there for the fun of it. Um, now. We're on to the bit which you probably all been wanting to hear if you haven't already heard this before. Um, Diaries is now out um, for Xbox 360. Um, I've been watching um, a few videos from um, Spider Bite from MGT Zombies, as well as Synth the Synth Project. And from what I can see so far, the maps look absolutely epic. <laughs> very, very much harder I think than any other maps to date. That's purely because the corridors are so thin and there's just so many holes fall down, map map very complex, so many doors, um, even the people that are playing, you know, they were sort of playing that they got lost as well. Um, also some in interesting information is the Slickle Fire, the new wonder weapon for Dare Eyes. Um, basically when it's fired, um, it releases um, this sort of purplish sort of look looking liquid which um, if any zombies sort of walk up it they will sort of slip and as they slip they actually die and um, also if you hit zombies with it it also has the same effect and um, apparently the players um, yourself will slip on it as well but um, it leaves like a puddle of sort of like purplish um, gel on the floor um, I didn't really get to see it, it sort of used for much sort of energy for very long so I didn't really see it in action really 
Um, so if I, once I know more about it, I'll let you guys know. Um, also, there's a new um, sort of I suppose you can call it a Hellhound round. It's um, they're similar to the old callers out of Kina the Token as well as on Moon, um, but they just seem to just sort of teleport, teleport all over the place, up the walls, and they just look absolutely insane. These things, um, also very difficult to kill. I'd imagine um, from what I looked at, they seem to do them okayish, but on your own, it might be a little bit of a different story. There's a uh, new flinger buildable, um, which is a pretty cool. Basically, you just um, see, basically you build a sort of, um, so like a flinger, and you once you place it on me, there's a walk on it. They just get thrown and to whatever, and they get killed. Um, you can't unfortunately fling them out the map, um, at least at a particular area, which um, they did it on, which I saw in the video, as it's like an invisible sort of barrier. Um, so they sort of hit the wall and bounce off, and they kind of die that way. Um, also, which is unusual with the slick fire as well, was um, once it was built and um, the guy picked it up, it vanished from the table, which is unusual. Um, then when he went over to sort of see what happened to the table, it's, it actually stated that the weapon could be found in the box at a later date. So it seems to be once you built this weapon, um, it actually then becomes a weapon you can get in the box. So obviously, I can imagine Ed can have it, which is a bit of a change from the jet gun, where only one person can have it at a time. Um, which basically means you'd probably be able to pack a punch the weapon, I'd have thought, if you can get out of the box, I would have thought anyway. Um, so yeah, that's that looks pretty good as well. Um, that's it guys, apart from obviously saying also, also the elevators look pretty cool as well. Um, there's a new perk, which sounds which sounds really good as well, I won't go into much detail with it now, because I don't know exactly how it works um, completely. Um, obviously Jug makes a return, um, as well as Frank. Thankfully, <laughs> Mule came to return to the map as well. Um, but yeah, guys, overall looks like a very, very, very good map, and I'm really, really itching to play it. I mean, I was even tempted to think of actually maybe buying the Xbox version, but I'm not going to be paying the extra to get the map anyway, so I might as well just wait for it to come on PlayStation and get it with the season pass um, in February. Anyway, guys, uh, that's all I've got time for today. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, sorry, the Dara's bit was a bit all over the place. Um, I still, I still, I still don't know every little bit of detail about the map, and even the videos are not a lot has been sort of gone, f sort of looked into further. It's purely just been play the map, see what it's like. Um, obviously from there, and I imagine in the sort of next week or so, more videos will come up, and more information will be released about the map. Um, maybe we can find out exactly what. Um, what's happening, how the pack has got there. Oh, sorry, I've got to mention there was a little sort of also a uh, starting video as well, like um like a story sort of um cinematic, which I'll also put that in the comment below as well if you want to check that guys out as well. Um which looks epic and it's a bit confusing as well really because um I want to want to spoil it for you but yeah you'll see when you watch it. Um anyway guys quickly before I go uh, my next video apart from the last few parts of the town survival um, I plan to hopefully next video will be about the rise in full as well as some video clips from the map to, um, and hopefully I'll be able to tell you everything about this map and get them ready um, for the release of it on PlayStation anyone who hasn't got it yet to get you prepared for that as well um, anyway guys um, I've been Kid and Keeper W for Zombie Slayers Elite UK and I'll speak to you in my next video thanks for watching bye